So here's my boat. It's uh, pretty much where I left it off last time. I've taken the motor out and I'll explain why in a couple seconds. But my plans, uh, for today at least, are to fix this gas tank because as somebody pointed out, the cap isn't really accessible. So I'm not going to be able to fill it up too well. So I think I'm just going to drill another hole up there and just kind of pivot it up on its side so I can still access the cap and these will still be out in the open so I can easily kind of take these and feed them to the motor. And the other thing I want to do is build these servo mounts so I can mount the servos up to control the motor like so. And I also need to build a servo mount so I can control the rudder. And I'm going to have to build some sort of hardware for the end here because it didn't come with any. There's nothing to really hook any sort of cables onto, so. And then I also want to fix the motor. And to fix the motor, what I need to do is pop down to the hardware store and get some 5mm uh, steel rod so I can grind square ends on it. Uh, because, uh, as you recall, my, in my last video, I was having trouble with my motor. And the problem was, it turns out I took apart the motor, and as, as you can see, the cable is totally frayed beyond recognition. So, it wasn't going to do a very good job of powering anything. So, a steel rod should do just fine. And I built this at the, at the machine shop already. I built this a couple weeks ago. This is basically just a rod that the propeller will fit onto the end of. Like that. And then I'll just put a little pin through there and bolt it on. Like so. And then this will thread nicely onto the motor. I finally made it down to my hardware store and picked up this uh, 3 16 inch steel rod, or approximately 5 millimeters. And as it is, it doesn't fit into the flywheel hole right there. But uh, with a bit of grinding, I should be able to grind the end square so it'll fit in there and secure itself in nicely. And then I'll use a hacksaw, chop it down about there, and uh, grind the other end square so it'll successfully take the power from the flywheel all the way down here to the threaded rod at the end. And there it is. So that should work just fine. Now it's time to put the motor back together and see if it works. There isn't a gas tank hooked up to this right now, so I can't start it up to test it out, but if I pull on the rip cord, you'll notice that the threaded rod at the top does spin. So that's a pretty good sign to me at least that this will work when I need to use it. For the rudder, uh, the chunk of stock that I got uh, when I needed to fix the motor shaft fits perfectly in that little hole there, so what I'm going to do is just cut a little chunk off, about that long, tighten this screw down to hold it in place, and then I'll file a flat end on it, and then I'll cut another chunk off, it's about maybe six inches long, that'll go right into the back of the boat, and a servo can push and pull on it on the other side, it'll sort of screw together at a right angle. Looks like that works pretty well. Uh, decent amount to travel to, good like 45 degrees on either side. So it should suffice for now at least. Uh, now it's time to hook up a servo. This is just a crudely marked out uh, servo holder I'm gonna chop out. So here's my servo and the servo mount I built out of plywood. And I'm thinking it'll go right there, because I have a lot more room to work with, like the servo horn and stuff, if this is mounted up top, as opposed to, like, trying to nestle it in, in the bottom there. So, if I just mount it up top, it should work all right. But the one thing I need to do is, this is going to be my centered position. So I need to, right about there, need to drill a hole and uh, smooth it off, just like it did with the other end. So I'm going to go inside and do that right now.
All right, now it's time to attach the servo to the rudder. So to start off with, I'm just going to screw on the uh, this little steel arm that I made to the servo horn with a few washers and nut and a bolt. Now I'll use these four screws to secure the servo to the servo mount we made earlier. There we go. It's very securely held in place and there's not too much slop at all and uh, it's very smooth, decent range of motion. I think that's about it for the rear servo. I don't, don't even really feel the need to plug it in and test it out because I know I just know it's going to work. I just secured on the propeller with some uh, shoe goo and a little pin in there, and then I just uh, loctited a bolt onto the end. As you may recall from my previous boat videos, these tubes are way too short, so I ordered some of this stuff off eBay. I think it came to a total of about six bucks for eight feet of it, which is pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is just trim off these guys and replace them with the new tube that I bought. May have to drill out the holes in the actual gas. This is way harder than it should be. It's my foot. There we go. So first I'll pop these guys out. I'm not sure how the best way to do this is. I popped out the little things inside the tank. This is just a gas filter and this one's just some sort of little semi-unnecessary nozzle. This first one is going to be the gas line, so I'll try and get that through there. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, just gasket creator stuff. It's sort of like a gasoline resistant adhesive. It's the closest thing I have to gasoline resistant glue, so I'm just going to throw some of that on top here. I'll see how that hardens up and take it from there. Unfortunately, this gasket sealing just didn't really work. It's uh, very crumbly once it dries, but I didn't really have any idea what it was going to be like. It was just, I knew it was gas resistant and uh, I was hoping it was going to be a little stronger. So. I think the next thing I'm going to try is some good old JB Weld. Well, my plan for the throttle servo is is to cut out this shape out of plywood. The servo will fit in there actually this way and then this the servo throttle cable uh, I will secure that to the plywood about there and then the uh, servo horn will essentially take this and pull it in and out just to control the throttle all I need to do now is hook up a servo to the throttle cable throw a receiver and a battery pack and boat and uh, I'll be good to go but I'm just going to leave it here for this video because I do want to post something because it's been a while since I posted the last video in this series and I just want to let you guys know that I am still working on it. I haven't thrown this project out the window or anything uh, and I do expect to probably have this boat on the water like within a month's time or shorter hopefully. Uh, I'll just have to see how the weather looks and uh, I'm just waiting on a servo for this guy right here. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Uh, sorry about the wait and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.